The Emperor Ying Zhong was the sixth and eighth emperor of Ming Dynasty. He totally had two empresses. The Empress Xiao Zhuang Rui, Qian Shi, was the real empress. The Empress Xiao Su, Zhou Shi, was Ying Zhong's noble consort. She became the empress daughter because her son inherited Ying Zhong's throne. The Empress Qian was from a military family. Her grand grandpa served in Emperor Yongle's army, and was really faithful. Yongle gave Qian family a middle-level hereditary military position. Different with most parents in their time, Empress Qian's father hired a famous teacher to teach Empress Qian at home. So Empress Qian was a well-educated woman. Besides, she was very pretty. Qian family had some kinship with the Grand Empress Daughter Zhang's original family. Through this kinship, Empress Qian was known by the Grand Empress Daughter. After carefully investigation, the Grand Empress Daughter thought Empress Qian was a great Empress candidate. In 1442 spring, the Grand Empress Daughter made the final decision and chose Qian girl as the Empress. Because this was the first time in Ming Dynasty that the Emperor married his Empress. The Grand Empress Daughter gave this young couple a grand wedding ceremony. This wedding ceremony was the last gift that the Empress Daughter Zhang gave to Ming because she passed away five months after the wedding ceremony. When God married, Empress Qian was 16 years old, Ying Zhong was 15. The Empress was several months older than the Emperor. Ying Zhong really loved his wife, although she was chosen by his grandma. To show his love to the Empress Qian, Ying Zhong decided to give Qian family a noble title, but was refused by the Empress Qian because she thought her original family got a noble title without many contributions to the country might be hurt Ying Zhong's reputation. Although the Empress Qian and Ying Zhong had great relationship, but for unknown reason, the Empress Qian didn't give any kids. In ancient Liu families, giving birth a son was the most important thing. So Empress Qian encouraged her husband to sleep with other imperial women. Then other imperial women had chance to give birth kids. In 1446, Ying Zhong's first kid was born, who was a little princess. One year later, Ying Zhong's first son was born. Both of those kids were born by consort Zhou, who was the future Empress Xiao Su. Xiao Su was born in a poor family and didn't get any formal education. In official records, she came to the imperial palace by accident. One day, Ying Zhong went out of town to hunt and came into Xiao Su's house by accident. Her other family members were too nervous to serve the emperor. Only Xiao Su dared to take care of Ying Zhong. And then, 
got the chance of becoming the consort. In beginning several years, the un the consort Zhou dare not to fight with Empress Qian. I think the main reason was at that time, consort Zhou's son Zhu Jianshen wasn't guaranteed to become the next emperor. When Ying Zhong was born, his biological mother was noble consort. Because Ying Zhong's mother was his father's true love, Ying Zhong was promoted to the crown prince when he was only two months. Then his mother got the chance to replace the empress. Well, until Zhu Jianshen turned two years old, even before Ying Zhong personally went to the wall with Wa La, Ying Zhong still didn't promote Zhu Jianshen to crown prince, because Ying Zhong still waited the son from Empress Qian. In 1449, Ying Zhong was captured by Wa La. Ying Zhong's half-brother became the Emperor Jing Tai and Zhu Jianshen was promoted to the crown prince. Ying Zhong stayed in Wa La about a year. When he was back to Ming, the Empress Qian not only lost her beauty, but also became disabled. Ying Zhong and his family was under home arrest for seven years. In 1457, Ying Zhong became the emperor again. The Empress Qian still didn't give birth any kids. According to the inheritance rule of Ming, Zhu Jianshen was promoted to the crown prince again. This time, Consort Zhou had enough power to fight with Empress Qian. Consort Zhou got support from many speculators. Those people asked Ying Zhong to choose Consort Zhou as the Empress because she was the biological mother of the crown prince. Well, the Empress Qian didn't have kids and was disabled. Luckily, Ying Zhong firmly refused. Although the Empress Qian kept her empress title, she was involved in the war with the noble consort Zhou. All imperial women know the noble consort Zhou was the real powerful woman in future. So they stood on noble consort Zhou's side. In 1463, the Empress Qian begged Ying Zhong to restore Hu Shanxiang's Empress title. Ying Zhong agreed. First, the Hu Shanxiang had a similar experience as the Empress Qian. Second, Ying Zhong and the Empress Qian wanted to tell everyone that the Empress was the Empress, which couldn't be changed by having kid or not. One year later, Ying Zhong passed away. Before death, Ying Zhong did the last thing for his beloved wife. He emphasized again, the Empress Qian was real Empress. She must got the Empress Daughter title and be carefully cared. After the Empress Qian naturally passed away, she should be buried with him. Unfortunately, Ying Zhong's last words couldn't protect her wife. After Ying Zhong passed away, both the Empress Qian and the Consort Zhou should become the Empress Dowager. But to please new Empress biological mother, the eunuch announced only the noble consort Zhou was promoted to the Empress Dowager. 
after getting the news, the government officers firmly support the Empress Qian and ask the Xian Zhong give Empress Qian the Empress Dowager title. Eventually, the noble consort Zhou had to agree to have two Empress Dowager at the same time. But the noble consort Zhou required her Empress Dowager title must have Hui Hao, title of honor, which made two Empress Dowager titles equally. Same year, two Empress Dowagers chose the Empress for Xian Zhong. Xian Zhong wanted to promote Wan Zhen Er, who was 19 years older than Xian Zhong, but accompanied him spent the most difficult time. The Empress Dowager Qian disagreed. She insisted to elect from three girls who were chosen by Yin Zhong. This agreement broke the relationship between Xian Zhong and the Empress Qian. In 1468, the Empress Dowager Qian passed away. According to Ying Zhong's will, the Empress Dowager Qian should be buried with him, which was refused by the Empress Dowager Zhou. The Empress Dowager Zhou wanted to become the only woman who was buried with Ying Zhong. Her idea got the support of Xian Zhong. Again, government officers supported the Empress Qian. They bowed outside the hall and cried loudly. They insisted that the Empress Dowager Qian must be buried with Ying Zhong. Eventually, the Empress Dowager Zhou seems give up. She agreed to bury the Empress Dowager Qian with Ying Zhong. But actually, she cheated everyone. When Ying Zhong passed away, the Empress Dowager Zhou didn't follow his will. So, in Ying Zhong's tomb, there didn't leave space for the Empress Qian. When the Empress Dowager Qian passed away, after check and balance, the Empress Dowager Zhou and the government officers got agreement that two Empress Dowagers should could be buried with Ying Zhong and started to build the tombs for two Empress Dowagers. In the design, besides Ying Zhong's tomb room, dug two tomb rooms, then used two tunnels connected Empress tomb room with Ying Zhong's tomb room. So after death, their soul could meet each other. Unfortunately, the Empress Dowager Zhou secretly required the builders to block the tunnel between Ying Zhong and the Empress Qian's tomb. So Ying Zhong had no chance to meet his beloved wife again. Until 1442, the Empress Dowager Zhou passed away. She should be buried with Ying Zhong. Then her secret was discovered. The Empress Xiao Zhong wanted to clear the tunnel, but eventually gave up. Now Ying Zhong's tomb didn't be stolen. So Ying Zhong waited and waited for 100 years. He still had no chance to reunion with his wife. I don't know why, but the bad one always live longer and better. Xian Zhong really respected his biological mother and almost do everything the Empress Dowager Zhou asked. Xian Zhong's head was Xiao Zhong who was raised by the Empress Dowager Zhou. So they had a close relationship. The Empress Dowager Zhou lived happily 
until he passed away at sixty-three, and I three planned. Only she actually was buried with Yingzhong together. Thank you for watching this video. See you.